Welcome back to Trauma Center, Second Opinion! Stab the heart. Let's- okay, just stab it. Oh, well, I'll continue the game. Okay, maybe later. That's okay. It is, it is now time to meet... Our new nurse. The beloved... Nurse, Angie. Beloved? Yeah, she's pretty cool. Is she is she hated? I don't know. Uh, she wasn't that good in Under the Knife. Be let's, better in let's this. Say that because yeah. the art style got a little less, you know, anime expressiveness, got a bit more realistic. I didn't mind it. And so we all felt you deserved a special gift of appreciation. Thank you for 18 years of dedicated service, Miss Fulton. Here's your pink slip. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Oh, I'm a little yay. embarrassed. Yay. Yeah. We miss you, Mary. Mrs. Fulton was more than a great nurse. She looked after us as well. I know! <laughs> we called her mom. I called her more than that. Derek? No, no more of this. I'm just worried Derek's gonna start coming to light again. How, how big of a dork is this guy? Uh, very. You're the one who kept him in line? I think he's just the, uh, the company punching bag, you I know? think, I think people still treat him like an intern, even though he's been here three years. Well, always an intern, never an actual doctor. He's always getting, like, you know, like, his, his balls busted like fucking Dr. Cox. Well, the thing is, he, he doesn't even have the white coat. He's not officially a doctor yet. Well, well, I'm, he's still on the side. That is true, that is true. No more sobbing phone calls? I think he called sobbing it. Sobbing phone <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't crying! <laughs> I think they actually truly made Derek Styles out to be a fucking dork. You've grown so much since you joined us, and I'm proud of you. I, I guess. Ricard and you'll surpass even Dr. Casal one day. Oh, hint, hint. Don't forget that I believe in you. Don't forget that I love you. <laughs> she isn't here yet. Is something wrong? My replacement. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Uh, you're gonna need a new assistant. All right. I think you're gonna need to be someone's assistant there, Derek. Yep. We need to get you your version of Maya Fey. Get her in here. Sorry I'm late! Hamburgers! Ta-da! I'm Angie Thompson, the new nurse. I'll be starting here tomorrow. Why did I think she wore pink? Was that- Because she does? Oh, okay. I, I don't know, it's just weird to see green on him, white on her, it's, like, all the like colors it's a, are wrong. Like it's a real hospital before we get to the fakey anime hospital. That's true. We're in L.A. or we're, we're, we're in a real hospital where real people go, and then we're gonna go to the fake anime hospital where you know great medical science is put to great use, and then we fight the destructive robot and the, cancer, yeah, and then we fight the uh, the anime villain at the end. Spoilers and all. No, I mean we didn't exactly you know, spoil anything. I mean it's just you know this this is this is our how can you make a doctor game fun? Take the piss out of it. Yeah, r raise the stakes. Oh, just yeah, go nuts. Sure. Someone on the line from St. Francis Hospital. Hmm. You know, have you ever had a doctor, like, end their practice and you don't know who to go to next? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, we've, we've, oh, singing, singing the, the blues. blues. All right, let's. I'm a doctor who's made fun of. Every day of my life. Let's see what blues artist we need to uh, heal in this one. But I gotta say that Nurse Fulton is giving... <laughs> so much blue. I think we're gonna have to uh, surgically remove your tear ducts, Derek, because my god. Okay. Let's focus up. Time to be a real doctor. Time to be a real man. Time to heal Bleeding Gums Murphy. <laughs> oh, he died too. Die. No! <laughs> Everybody leaves me! Oh, man. Oh. Already on my case. Hey, aren't I... Actually, I think we're the same age. No, she's 21. We're 26. Oh. Well, close enough. <laughs> Alright. I love how... Just, like, strictly business, no fun at all. You can see it in her face. Up, uh, Mr. Cox. That's, that's from Perry Cox of Scrubs fame. Oh. John C. McGinley. <laughs> Is that what he looks like in the show? No. <laughs> he looks emaciated. Oh, okay. He looks like he'd be the Death Archon in a Persona game. <laughs> Yo, Doc. A pop from his throat. How are you feeling? It's important for us to know about any changes to your condition. Wait, he's the blues singer? I guess. Well, okay. It doesn't exactly have to be an know. old man Fine, thing. I guess. I don't really know. Huh? Which is not fair, you know, I spent years working part-time, keeping the dream alive. Now we finally land a contract with a big-time record producer. And my throat's screwed up, so what? If something goes wrong, I wasted my life. 
I have to work retail till I die because of the stupid polyp thing? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a polyp. Yeah, throat polyps aren't... Uh, they are extremely disastrous to uh, yeah. any uh, any profession having to do with voice or, you know, having to use your pipes. Does your insurance cover nihilism? Do you want me to save you or not? I mean... Stay positive, Mr. Down in the Dumps. I'll save your throat. Sorry, Dex. Nate, Disha. Wow, he sounds like he's dying. This throat polyp might actually ruin his life. Welcome to the Velvet Room. As oh. a surgeon, you will make social links with many patients for years to come. Unless they die. Wow! <laughs> That's some emotion. So, yeah, in the DS version, her rec her that face is like way more anime. I'm okay this, with it. This is actually quite stunted, and I, I like it better actually. It feels like this, he's actually fucking angry at me for telling him everything's gonna be fine. Huh? What did I do wrong? Oh, this doofus. So you knew he was nervous about this, so we just basically guaranteed that he'd be fine. If anything goes wrong, it'd be our fault. We need to make friends with our patients, because that goes over well. You need bedside manner. It's a bit like, you know, like like push and pull. You need to be there, but not, like, completely there. Don't you get it? Are you even at middle school? Or, or, uh, not middle school. <laughs> medical school. Medical school. school. Like, did you even go to middle school? Did you? I skip grades. <laughs> All right, let's do some surgery. Let's save this guy's throat. Elliot Cox. Actually, that's two Scrubs characters. Elliot Reed and Harry Cox. All up clusters con uh, confirmed in the trachea due to internal hemorrhaging. A hemostatic laser procedure is necessary. We're doing some laser surgery. Time to do some laser bullshit. All right, uh, Mr. Cox. Started feeling pain in his throat about a month ago. He's been coughing up blood since then. That might be lung cancer. <laughs> and now has trouble breathing. Since no. Mr. Cox is a rock singer, it's likely that a polyp is developed due to strained bronchial tubes. Obviously, it has to start to, to start to hemorrhage. I have to treat it with a nebulizer, but his condition is getting worse. It's nothing life-threatening, but considering that the patient's career is serious enough to warrant a surgical intervention. Yep. It's still possible for him to fully recover. Let's cut that throat What's open. What's your opinion, Dr. Cussall? I hate blues music. <laughs> Let him die. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Dr. Styles, the operation has three objectives. Drain the overflowing blood, locate the source of patient stress, and use laser to remove Are you it. ready, Dr. Styles? He has his surgical gloves on his feet. He's just like, oh, it's Mary! <laughs> <laughs> All right, tread carefully. We gotta, we gotta be a little little careful here. Here we go. This is how you instill some empathy. These aren't, these aren't just slabs of flesh that we gotta do stuff with. These are actual, real people. Mm -hmm. We have to treat it like such, even though he doesn't have to really, doesn't really have a face. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay, so. Get all that. There we go. And Cut, him up. Yep. Cut him up. <laughs> Cut him up. Cut him open. Bad. Ah, yeah. there we go. Here's the, there's the hemorrhaging. Yep, and there's the polyp underneath it. Magnify it. Use the magnification. Where's the magnification? Okay. Uh... Magnet? Uh, I thought that was ultrasound. Because it is ultrasound, but it's now magnification. Oh. Alright. Hemorrhaging, and there's the polyps. Okay. All Drain right. that blood. Slurp. Oh, and that was easy. And then laser them. So laser. It's... Yeah, it burns tissue, but if you keep... If you keep it on the patient, it'll reduce their vitals, because that's a laser. A, an it's, actual it's a laser, laser yeah. Yes, additional bleeding. We definitely just want to be so just, quick and concise. Yep, just zap, zap. That's going to cause some bleeding, though, because we are popping these polyps here. Yeah, hey, that's all right. Because we can just drain that and, you know, just put, put some magic gel all over it, and then it'll be fine. Right, so there's blood collecting, and these holes are open that are causing more bleeding. So what we have to do is we just got to drain that. And then antibiotic gel to clear that up, and then let's go. get the rest. Now do it again. All right, and ta-da! And then more polyps show up. Oh, oh yeah, yep, down actually, here. yeah, there it is. All right. So, uh, get out of the magnification, and go back zoom. in there. Okay, there and drain all So, this. same thing. I, I think you have this, Doctor. I think you can handle this. Awesome. And then... Uh, drain uh, the then they're gone. All right, all good. Yeah, uh, yeah I see you try I see you trying to raise uh raise those vitals. Let's give him a shot. There there is a certain oh, I, I missed some. There is a certain point where the uh the syringe no longer helps and it actually stops raising vitals. 
So under like certain context of things yeah. too. Like somebody's like tragically dying and their vitals will only go up to 20 or something yeah. like that. Oh, there's st yep, still more. got more. How many pops this guy have? You got you got more pop than throat at this point. I was about to say, yeah, maybe he's maybe he's screamo music, not exactly the blues. It's like something called screamo blues, new blues, the new blues, blue metal. Hmm. <laughs> Zap. Ah! No, just yeah, I was trying to give you a tattoo. There we go. Yay! Not too bad. Not right. too bad. Close them up. Cool. That was a cool. Cool. Okay, okay yeah. That's that, so cool! I think that might be a little running gag here. Oh. It. Good work, Doctor. Good. Inexperienced <laughs> slacker! I can hear you, bitch! Excuse me, Angie, I can read your thoughts. Did not appreciate that. We need to get more rapport if we're gonna save people. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill someone and say it's your fault, and then you're the one who gets uh, the malpractice lawsuit, not me. But it's still under your practice. No, 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 no. I'm still, I'm still gonna get you. Still gonna get you. It's fine. So it's clear you're the better doctor than me so far, but let's see how your next case goes. Let's see how good my next one is. Operation complete success. <laughs> Throat needs to rest for a few days, but so... I got a gig tomorrow! A week from now? Really? From neck surgery? Or throat surgery? Jeez, we're going deeper. Oh my god. Would you... <laughs> You know, I'm with Angie. I'd punch him too. Is, it, is, it, is there a designated like cack in the back of the head kind of thing? It's like, ah. Well, that's why he's not the protagonist in the next two games. Yeah, that's true. They. Hmm. He, he, well, I mean, he also kind of achieves his arc in this game, so yeah, why would he, he need to have another? Well, he please. has a full arc. We we bring in other doctors. Thank you so much, Doctor. Ah, take care. My, our last walk-in for today. Angie, let's sort out our pre-up at around 1 o'clock, okay? It's 4.15, you dumbass! <laughs> Surgery ended an hour ago. What?! Cyanosis, which it could indicate asthma. Oh, she's got the eyes for this shit, man. She is essentially house. I love it. You can just see symptoms everywhere. Act like a real doctor, yeah. Learn every single thing in every medical textbook and remember it. You know, it's too bad this game kind of predates it, but uh, I'm kind of thinking of Psych as well, one of my favorite shows, <laughs> where the guy is basically uh, pretending to be a psychic. Yeah. Now I'm pretending to be a doctor, just kind of, kind of winging it. Sean West, I think that's, uh, I, I, I think Sean is one of the characters from House, the actor's name. And uh, yes. I feel West is an ER character. Multiple tumors confirmed in the small intestine, resulting in several other inflammations. Immediate removal is required. Get rid of all these tumors. Since Dr. Cassell is at a conference, I'll be briefing you today. Nice. Don't kill him. I think you... <laughs> oh, briefing is another word for nagging, Shut I believe. Shut up, man-thing. <laughs> We're extracting a stage one tumor from the patient's <laughs> small intestine. <laughs> oh, please don't dominate me, Angie. I'll take it out. We'll fully recover. You need it, slime. His, bl <laughs> His blood test results were unusual. Apparently, he's taken lidocaine. It oh, like into his bloodstream. Oh dear. Well, thankfully, he's only here for a tumor, and thankfully, doctors don't work on other things that they find. <clears throat> See, we doctors have specific borders in this hospital. Oh, you came in for a tumor? Cool. Only working on tumor. But there's like Sorry. five other ones around there. We, we kind of do mostly upper body stuff, and you're kind of lower body, and you're going to have to go down the street to uh, the other hospital for that. <laughs> oh, the, now I'm thinking of frat size. It's like, dude, I don't want to see your junk. I'm not working down there. <laughs> Only upper torso. Yeah, no genitals. That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor! How Doctor! dare you! God! And now, like, just imagine he does a kegger right before every single one. This is why nobody has faith in him. <laughs> Doc Fra frat boy Derek Styles. Oh, God, I don't know. Whoa! What the? what the? Yikes! It's like somebody sprinkled your your intestines with polyps. Uh, yeah. Symptoms aren't uncommon. Some of them seem bigger than the others, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. Tumor time. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. There's one. That's another one right next to it, basically. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
I think what I like is how, like, quote-unquote forgiving this game is. Uh, it can be. Like, if you if you mess up the game, it doesn't automatically fail you. It'll let you, it's like, nope, that's not right, or, oh, you got, you got the process wrong, and it doesn't, like, fault you for that. Jeez! He has so many fucking tumors. Do you, like, need a new one, man? Oh, vitals, vitals, vitals! I got him, I got him. Why don't you just pump him up full of those drugs? He probably needs it. Something's not right. Yeah, I wonder what it could be. He's still dying. This all of a sudden got very serious. Do they want me to... Did you treat it all the way? I... I... Remove the tumors, okay. Uh, just displayed some antibiotic Treat gel the over incision? Me. Where? Uh, Alright. Well, start zapping yeah. the, oh, uh... Oh, Jesus. Those things, yeah. I'm such a fucking idiot. There you go. Nope. Proceed as normal. Oh, they're looking for pinpoint precision. Easy there, bud. I gotcha, I gotcha. Per perfect game for this, really. You know, for the brand new Wii console. And vitals are dropping. I see him. Thank you, Doctor. I'm gonna tell you when it goes under 10. So That'll you don't have to worry about that. That'll work. Oops. 19. Seems to be slow. His, the fall in his vitals yeah, seems to be slowing, so... That's why it was going down so quickly. Yeah. I, I didn't even know, uh... I, I guess I didn't really pay attention to the first time. Something's still in there, it seems. Okay. It's not improving. Something, something else. something else in there. Don't usually stabilize right after the operation. Mm. Uh, how about we second guess this? <laughs> you mean get a yeah. second opinion? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what would you suggest? Use the ultrasound again. Okay. What do we got? Entire area. Is there one that we missed? Or what do you see, Angie? Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. No, second... she, she had intuition. Second guessing is good. It's like what Dr. Cox said in Scrubs once. By the book, people kill us up here. That was pretty cool. But what's causing his... Like, he's got Vasa 24. He's near death. He should be like, you know, right as rain by now. What the hell's going on? Live, damn it! No, don't... Oh, oh. Ooh. That really helped. I think he just threw up a lot more blood. Oops. Damn it. Oh. Well, welcome to the sea club. I shouldn't be here. I'm medically trained. Dr. Styles. Oh, hey, Angie. Thanks for your help in there. I'd like to have a word with you about that last operation. Uh, is there something wrong with my bedside manner? <laughs> Ow. No, it's about the patient, actually. He died. His white blood cell and globulin counts are rising rapidly. That to me, that's a sign of infection. Mm-hmm. Also, there's inflammation along the patient's... Peritoneum. ...place. Peritoneum. We should re-examine him immediately and consult his regular doctor. Okay. I agree, but I don't have to wait until tomorrow because I'm tired! Oh, right, St. Fl right. Saint Francis? St. Francis, there we go. But, I traveled a long way to meet with me, and I can't just blow them off. We have this first thing tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, seeing this is just like, this isn't proper etiquette. But, Pe people's lives. Come on, Derek. So we're moving over to the City Walk. Ooh, I think I remember this. Ooh. Hi. This is in LA. <laughs> well, now he's wearing a white coat. as his street clothes. Yeah. Hmm. I think you got this doctor thing <laughs> just backwards, Dr. Styles. That guy is dead, isn't he? Because we didn't take the time. And, yep, didn't take the time. This is why patients die. Derek, where are you? The patient is in critical condition. Get back here right now! Yep. What? To to taxi Take me to Hope Hospital and step on it! <laughs> oh. Get stuck take in me a there safely, jam. I mean. Aw, uh, man. <laughs> Gloved up! Tumor metastasized behind his lungs, which then began swelling. Oh no! Oh, yeah. we were we were right to second guess ourselves. No! Why didn't we take enough accurate CT scans and X-rays? Oh, jeez. Follow me. This is what failure looks like. Carelessness. You were great. <laughs> that's not all you my were fault. Okay with it. I thought. 
Downpour. <sighs> Man. Another, uh, another cutscene. This is gonna be very sad, isn't it? I hope not. I don't want sad. We I need to happy. learn what it's like to be a f failure. Downpour. <laughs> I understand you didn't have much information to base a decision on, and I do admit that the tumor was difficult to see from the x-ray. However, it's your fault. I understand they pointed out his extremely high readings. More than that, you dumped your responsibilities onto a nurse immediately following a very delicate operation. And then you hear a whack with a ruler. <laughs> Mrs. Thompson, what are you- Excuse me for interrupting, Dr. Hoffman. I understand this is a little rude, but I have to say something. Defense! Fuck Defense. you! <laughs> it's about the negligent attitude Mr. <laughs> Stiles has played thus far! Oh no! She's throwing me out of the bus! Yeah, never mind. I warned him about this patient at least three times, but he said that there were important personal matters he had to attend to. Wow, she's to. actually trying to get us fired! Jeez, what a bitch! He walked out without another word! I mean, we did kind of blow her off pretty, pretty good, and she was like, protesting and all that. Maybe he didn't harm the patient directly, but he's dead. It's still your fault! How can I work under a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? Oh, that's a scalpel to the heart. Uh, uh, like what we accidentally did during one uh, during one procedure. Okay, yeah. Young so, 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 Doc! Dr. Dick! And when you need a sick, I can help you real quick! Oh, that was pretty slick, dude. Come on, Derek, help me quick! D -d 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 deeper And then the song ends and you just see a scalpel just in their eye somehow. It's just like, oh. I'm gonna be referencing that song quite a few times throughout this Let's Play. I'm oh, I've never heard that song before. Yeah. Oh, then I gotta play something for you after this episode. Though. Okay. I, well, I, I mean... I wanted the lavish lifestyle. I looked good on the box out of a, of a surgeon game, so... Atlas made me do it. You don't deserve to be here. Oh. Tell it like it is. Quickest game Get ever. Get this mama's boy out of here. Get this Mary's You're boy out of here. You're a real doctor. Are, are you gonna let this happen, Mr. Chief Man? You're just gonna let like this 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 pace swallow? Oh, I don't think I need to punish you anymore. You're getting a thrashing as it is. <laughs> Maybe start going like, "Oh, not a real doctor. What's up, son?" Oh, he starts texting you, the other doctors. He's just like, "You need oh, to come up to my office right now." What's oh, up? My God. This guy Derek Styles is getting fucked right in front of my face. My God, look at this guy. <laughs> God, it's a good thing none of that social media crap existed in 2007. Otherwise, yeah, he'd be getting roasted oh, live. Oh, he's, get, he's getting destroyed on MySpace. <laughs> Dude, my top ten? Check this shit out. <laughs> my top ten Derek Styles fuck-ups. All from last week. Well, this does kind of give him his, uh, you know, come to Jesus moment, I suppose. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh-oh, looks like rain. Hurry up, you two. We need to get all our displays inside. Oh, actually, I think I know what this leads to. It's basically like, let me show you how doctor I am when somebody gets hurt right in front of him. <laughs> it's alright. I love the rain. <gasps> I, oh. I am the tragic Oh, prince. wait for it. I am useless as a doctor. Maybe I should go. You're never gonna believe time. what I just saw. Somebody got hit. Oh, let me see. Hit and run. Yeah. Oh! oh! That's bad. Oh! Oh! Ew! Alright, yeah, we need to... An accident on Walnut? Maybe a real doctor can fix it. <laughs> Taken to our trauma ward, but Dr. Casal's out of town. Looks like it's our time! There are any emergency doctors on call. Huh. They're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what do you think? I love cliffhangers. You cliffhangers are you great. Love, you love cliffhangers? We don't know if this guy's gonna live. We won't know until next time. Well, you're 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 a crueler man than I, but I <laughs> but I dig it. And well, you heard the man. Next time on Trauma Center, second opinion. Life or death! Life or death! Life, Life or death! You know, I think that's actually the name of an old uh, DOS surgery game that's way more technical than this. Hmm. Life, life or death. How many people died during Life or Death? Well, seeing as how it's a difficult DOS game, probably 95% of patients, yeah? Yeah. High mortality rate, very yeah. sad. You know, very unfair stuff. Mm -hmm. So, see you next time.